guys, so today I'm here with a complete essentials guide for your baby's zero to 12 month age. This is going to be a guide that basically shares everything you need. It is broken up into musts and things that are more bonuses. I tried not to include any extra stuff. I tried to include all of my favorite bonuses as well as all of the essentials. So this video is a complete and organized guide of all the things you need for that first year. All right, so we are obviously gonna start with the newborn stage. This is one of those where the items that I have on here hopefully will last you throughout baby's first year. But there are, of course, some items that just won't. That's just how babies are. They grow so quickly. And I wanted to break this up as best as I could. We are first gonna start with the clothing segment of this video. This is going to encompass all 12 months because you don't really need a lot of clothing, though they do accumulate. So I will try to share the minimum that you would need for each stage. The first item is seven to 10 onesies. Long sleeve, short sleeve, whatever season you are in. If it is the winter, you don't need short sleeves. Long sleeves are probably gonna be your best bet. If it is summertime, having the short sleeves is gonna be your best bet with maybe a sweater. Seven to 10 is great because you have one for each day of the week and then you only have to do a load of laundry once a week. I'd say that going smaller on that is probably still okay if you like to do laundry and have the ability to do more laundry. Seven to 10 PJs work just fine. If she didn't get it messy, we'd have her wear a PJ twice, sometimes three times in a row. And once it was worn that third time, we'd put it in the hamper. Seven to 10 pants or shorts. If you are in the summer, I would say that going towards the shorts will be smarter to do and then having like two to three pairs of pants and likely you can just lay a blanket over the baby anyways. Hats are awesome for the seasons and obviously if you live in a climate where it does change, having a hat is great as well as summertime having a summer hat. So winter hat and summer hat. Oh, socks. Whether the season is cold or warm and in grocery stores and you go into public, if you don't wanna put shoes on your child, having socks just makes you feel better. And then some bonus clothing items. I find that having two to five pairs of cute items, cute outfits for pictures per sizing rank. So there's the newborn sizing, there's the zero to three months, the three to six, the six to nine, and the nine to 12. Having two to five really cute outfits was fun to have. Not necessary, but fun. So the very first newborn item that I have that isn't really in a category, it is the Baby Tracker app. This is not sponsored. This is just an app that was so, so incredible for me personally in those first like 10 months and I stopped tracking things once I felt like pretty confident in what I was doing. To be fair, I knew what I was doing with or without this tracker, but it was so nice to just see everything. And the really great thing is that it calculates the sleep, it times it all out so you can really see how much sleep your baby's getting. That was the biggest reason why I wanted a baby tracker app. It told me how long ago it was that I had a feeding. It told me how long ago it was that I had a nap time. So I could really plan out those wake windows as best as I could. And it took all of the math out of it for me. So the baby tracker app, I'll put it right here so you guys can see the visual and everything will be linked down below. Somewhere for baby to sleep. We decided on a bassinet where you can open it out and have it right close to the bed. That was something that worked really well for us because while we didn't necessarily want to co-sleep, we also really wanted her as close to us as we could. And for us, this was the best option. Some people don't want to use a bassinet right away. They prefer to use a crib. So a crib is also something you could have, but anywhere safe for baby to sleep is gonna be really essential. So the second item on the newborn sleep section of this video is a video monitor. I put this in the essentials because I think for modern day parents, it just makes sense. I don't know why you would do anything other than a visual monitor. It just allows you to step away. I think that parents need that space as well. And I feel like it makes parents more comfortable when they can actually see baby. The next item on the newborns list is having swaddles on hand. We really liked the Velcro swaddles. Some people don't care for them. We also had the sleep to dream swaddle, I believe is what it's called. That one was really great because she did like to sleep with her hands up. And we also used actual blankets to swaddle her. All these things work great. I liked having Velcro and the blankets. Those really made me feel good having two different kinds. Another really important sleep item is a sound machine. We have the hatch. 
This was something that was really important to me because I just feel like sound and sleep is something that is so important to me for my mental health. Now what I did in the beginning was I would sometimes use the sound machine and then other times I'd have her sleep right next to me to allow her to get used to different environments. Those first six months she really could sleep anywhere and it wasn't a big deal. I would also highly recommend some extra sheets. I'd recommend having at least two sheets for whatever sleeping mechanism you have, whether that's two bassinet sheets or two crib sheets. I just feel like while one's in the wash, you have one to use and I think that that works really well. You can just quickly wash it and then you have one on hand. Then I will say blankets. Now obviously blankets are not sleep safe, but I do feel like if you're right next to baby and you lay a blanket right over them or you're using them to sleep on you, I find that this is one of the most purchased items that people like to give babies and parents. If you have it on your registry, I'd probably just put like one or two sets of blankets that maybe you really like because you're probably going to end up getting a lot of blankets. Okay, the next section in the newborn stage is the healing section. Now this is the section for you guys because this is going to be a very important thing for you. You need to heal, you need to take care of yourself. I want to put the first thing on my healing list is people. Someone to talk to is an essential. I don't care who you are, you need people to talk to. Whether that's one person, whether that's your husband, trying to at least find like one female that you feel like you can trust that maybe has had experience with kids, like a best friend, a mother, a grandmother. All of those women that have had experience that can come together with you it's so so incredible it is very much so an essential especially for the whole year the next item that I put on here is prepped food this is kind of not an essential but this is something that I think should be having some prepped food people to come and give you food your own food that you freeze freezer meals these are gonna be very important if you don't have friends and family that can come and give you food having your own stash of food whether it's cheap cheap pizza that you can just stuff away you need to fuel your body, you need to eat. Food is super essential. Then we have the peri bottle and the undies and all of the goods. Those are just gonna make you feel comfortable. I found that the peri bottle was really nice. I had a C-section, I still needed it. My doctor wanted to make sure that I use it every time. So that was very, very important. You're also gonna need some pads. Speaking of pads, nipple pads is something that I would put on an essentials item. Even if you are not planning on breastfeeding, just having something to catch all the milk so that you're not feeling super gross. I did breastfeed, so I would say that nipple pads will be a huge essential. Honestly, for the first like five months, I used them, and I think that they really helped me feel clean and they really made me feel like I wasn't covered in milk all the time. The next item on healing is coconut coconut oil. This is for your nipples if you're breastfeeding. The lactation consultant that I spoke to basically told me <laughs> that all the nipple creams, all the nipple butters are usually not the best for your body. They kind of clog up the pores and when you want things to kind of come out and come through, it doesn't always do the best. Whereas coconut oil and olive oil are more lubricants and they help really heal. I had a really good experience just using coconut oil. It is safe for baby. You just put as much as you can on there. Then the next item is comfy clothes. Any comfy clothes, no matter what, they look like, put them on, wear them, they are going to be so nice. So now we are on the bath time section. Now this section is kind of funny because I really feel like a lot of baby items are just extra consumer based items where you don't really need them but they are nice to have. So one of the main items that some people don't care to have but I enjoyed was a baby bath. You can actually lay baby down on the bath and fill the water up to the bottom of their ears and that is just as okay as just a baby bath. Bath. It depends on who you are. That's something that I've done a few times and I remember when I did that I was like, why did I even have a baby bath? The next item is a towel. Now this is another one of those items that you don't need a specific to baby item. We literally have one baby towel that we got on our registry. It's literally just one little lamb towel. We haven't gotten anything else. Oh, she is getting bigger <laughs> so it is like not fully wrapping her the way it did when she was really little but it does the job. Next we have a hairbrush, nail clip, 
clippers, and a thermometer. These are obviously those first aid type of items that will make your life a lot easier. And another item that was awesome was having the hairbrush, of course, to brush your hair out to make sure that it didn't get snarly. You don't need baby specific washcloths, but I did end up picking some up because the ones I have are pretty old and kind of scratchy. I grabbed some bamboo ones. I will link them down below. And then you are going to want your preferred soap. You just want something that's really, really clean. A lot of the baby soaps aren't as clean as some of the items that adults use. So really check those ingredients. I will actually say that an app that a lot of parents should have, it's called the Think Dirty app or the Yucca or Yucca app. Those I'll link down below as well. Those really gave me peace of mind when it came to items that my baby was eating or putting on her skin. And so we use Native. I also use a Burt's Bees one that I felt like worked really well. The next item is lotion. We use the Hello Bello fragrance-free lotion. We also use the Native lotion and both work just as well on her. I don't really have a preference on either one. They're both really good at not feeling greasy. So I'll link both of them down below. Now we have the travel section. So the first item is a baby wrap, especially I think that moms that have many children that they're watching or with, it is very, very helpful. My husband even wore the baby wrap a lot to help him feel super close to baby. The next item is a car seat. I just liked the infant ones because you could carry it and put it anywhere and it allowed me to extend her naps. So I would say if you can, try to grab a carrier version car seat unless you just need something that'll last you, then I would recommend the Graco Slim fit. That one's great because it can fit itty bitty babies, but it also can fit big babies and toddlers and preschoolers. So that's one item that you can spend one amount of money on and that'll last you for a long, long time. So then the next item is a stroller with an infant insert. This allows you to get out of the house. It allows you to take those walks and get out and feel human again. At least it did for me. So a stroller is definitely on the essentials list. We got the Mockingbird single to double stroller, which I highly, highly recommend, especially if you want something that you can collapse and fit in a small vehicle. Then we have a diaper bag. I found that having a really cute diaper bag really made me feel super cute. When I went into public, I felt really good. Anything that will fit baby items. You don't need it to look like a baby item diaper bag. It can just really be any bag that you can store all a baby's things in. The next item I will say that is so, so, so helpful is a fold out baby mat to change baby in wherever you go. This makes it easy because you can just wipe it up really nicely. Then having an extra pacifier in that diaper bag. Do not forget that if you are a mom who uses pacifiers. We use the itsy ritzy ones. We also use the fridge and bibs pacifiers, but I found that the itsy ritzy ones were a little bit cheaper and they still were pretty cute. If you have a nook that has a hook on it, I definitely would say a nook chain is what we call it. It's one of those little strings that attaches to the shirt because even if baby is not moving a lot, just having something that you can attach so you don't lose it and ensure that you don't lose it really gives you that peace of mind. So the next category is play. Newborns don't need a lot for play. They're so, so little. Any sort of soft, cushy surface works just fine. You don't need a giant jungle gym. I know a lot of people really like the Love Every Play Gym. I feel like with consumerism, we feel like we need all of these big bulky items and you don't need these items. They're nice to have and I definitely would say that having like a nice cushy mat you can lay baby on is going to do just the same thing. Books. Now one of the great things about really little babies is that you can take out your books and you can use your paper books right away. As baby gets older, they wanna rip and grab at the pages, but in those first few months, they're not gonna grab those pages the way that an older baby will. My husband and I read all kinds of books with our daughter in the beginning of her first two, three months. Music, music on your phone. We have a record player, we played records. That was really nice because it allowed us to kind of have something fun to listen to. And I found that music just made her really relaxed. It made me feel good. Music is really great for development as well. So music is awesome. And then I would say something that makes noise 
size. You can literally grab like one rattle from a Walmart that's super cheap, a wooden rattle. You could invest in just like one really nice one. You could make one even. You could grab like a water bottle and put beads in there and shake it. Anything that you can make noise with is great so you can start to have baby track. It takes a while, but I would recommend starting as soon as you can. And feeding. Feeding is the last category on this list. Feeding is something that's a little different for everybody, especially if you're doing formula versus breastfeeding. If you're breastfeeding, I would recommend a haka. Hakas are going to collect all that extra milk that you can use for all kinds of things. It allows you to not have to pump, especially if your letdown is really strong. I collected most of my milk using my haka. I want to say till she was six months old and then I slowed down on it a little bit. Burp rigs are amazing. Um, not everybody likes the smaller ones, so some people say just use those big blankets that you have and drape those over your shoulders, especially if you have a lot of them. I think those are really good and they allow for baby to not spill all over you because sometimes that happens. A boppy is amazing for whatever kind of feeding you are doing. It allows you to not have that awful shoulder pain and you can really keep the baby right to your chest or keep baby up high while you're feeding the bottle. Boppies are awesome and as baby gets older you can use it to help with sitting and prop them up or lay them sort of in an upright position if they have reflux. Boppies are awesome for feeding. And then of course formula and bottles. I use the Como Tio or Como Totes <laughs> ones. Those are the ones I use. I literally only bought one big set of them and we barely barely even used those because she was breastfeeding and we found that she had a harder time taking bottles later. But if you are planning on breastfeeding and need to store milk, I would recommend having bottles. And then of course, milk storage bags are very important and helpful to you can safely store the milk. I really don't have a preference. I just use whatever was the most affordable. You don't need anything fancy. They're gonna store the milk and you're gonna throw them away anyways. So now on to the extras. These are items that are not necessary, but beautiful, wonderful things to have on hand. When I asked my husband what his favorite items were, he really liked our snuggle me. You don't need the actual snuggle me, but any sort of comfy, cozy little pillow that kind of comes up like this. It's really nice because you can kind of lay baby down comfortably on the couch or on the floor or on the rug in that and you can walk around and get things done because a lot of people need to get things done and having baby just right there to sleep and be cozy is really nice. Then a great thing too about those pillows is that when baby is doing tummy time and they're about like two months old, you can flip them over and have them kind of propped up a little bit and it really helps with tummy time. Organizers for clothes are not necessary, but there's something that I really liked having. Another item you can use is literally cardboard boxes. You can cut up into the shape and height of your dresser drawers. You could paint them, you could do pretty much anything with them and then you can really customize your drawers the way that you want. I got the ones from Ikea because they were like seven bucks and it really made me feel like the mom of the year because I had these beautiful drawers. I just opened them and I could really see everything. Baby clothes are super teeny tiny so having something that can kind of keep them all consolidated allowed me to really use each item and I could see it all in one spot. A dresser is awesome because if you have one at a really good height you can actually put something kind of soft on top like a baby diaper changer mat and then you have something easy to kind of have baby lay on while you change the diaper. The next item is hangers. I use super teeny tiny ones. Those ones were awesome. You don't need to buy them, especially when you get baby clothes. They usually come with little hangers, so you can use those as well. I just really liked having things organized and having everything be able to be hung up. A comfy chair to feed baby in is awesome. We got one off of Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks and it did the job just fine. I really, really liked having it, and I highly recommend you try to invest in something comfy for you to sit in. It can be just anything that makes you feel comfortable in that you can feed baby in. The last item on the newborn's essential list is a pacifier. I already talked a little bit about the pacifiers, but I put it on the extras because not everybody uses one and not every baby takes one. I recommend finding two different kinds, two to three different kinds of pacifiers that you want to try. So the next category is the two to six month category. 
I split it up here because I feel like that's when baby's officially out of that newborn -y stage and they start to be more like a baby. So this is the early baby stage. So the first essentials for the two to six months in sleep is sleep sacks. Now these are great because babies usually are out of their swaddling positions when they're this stage and having something safe for babies to actually move their arms in that really keeps them warm, especially at night in cooler seasons. Sleep sacks, in my opinion, are essentials. Now some people will start to use a crib in this era of babyhood. Most in any cribs work. You can go on Facebook, buy, sell, trade and find cribs. Some people would rather get one that's new. It's really up to you and what works for you and your family. Feeding, now this is where it gets fun because I did include the six month solid eating in this. So feeding is a very fun part of this stage. Some doctors say that it's okay to do it earlier. We waited to do our feeding for Violet till she was six months. We followed baby led weaning and for that, we used the Solid Starts app. If you are starting solids and you want to feel peace of mind on how you do it, the Solid Starts app is free. It's amazing, again, not sponsored, but it was such an awesome resource. I still go to the app when I'm confused or want clarification on how to prep an item, how to cook an item. It allows me to know what items to avoid and it really has a giant library of food items to give to baby. The next item is baby lead weaning utensils utensils if you're doing that route or spoons if you're doing the puree route. I really enjoyed spoons that were easy for her to hold on to. High chair. We loved our Ikea high chair. We obviously still use it. It is just such an affordable, quick, easy to clean high chair. With my experience with working with kids for many years, high chairs are awful. And I wanted to find something that was super easy to clean. I wanted nothing to do with the padded, crazy, bulky thrones that are high chairs. I wanted something as simple as possible. It's one of the parts of babies that I start to get a little bit overwhelmed by. So for me, having a really easy high chair made it that much better. We found some padding on Amazon for very, very cheap. Ikea also sells it. Then you can take the cover and literally soak it and have it dry. A silicone bib. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would ever do anything other than a silicone bib. We have a few cloth ones and even those will soak through her shirt. And we got the one that catches everything. I do see people who like the actual outfit where you can put like a sleeve outfit on baby. The next item is kind of funny, but some simple first foods, something that they can squish really easily with their gums. Those are gonna be awesome for your peace of mind, especially when you're first giving your baby some food when they're six months old. So now for the travel part of this section, everything that you have already, the stroller, the car seat, those things are gonna be very important and you'll still already have those. Having a snowsuit or swimsuit will be awesome for the summertime. Making sure that baby is nice and cozy and comfortable is really important for me and getting outside is really important for me. This is when the backpack carrier comes in handy, especially with the support that it had. I really liked having the soft shoes and the little booties because Violet was born in August, which means that winter time she was still pretty little and having something nice and cozy on her feet without it being like the hard hard bottom shoes. They were easier to put on. So now playtime. This is when books still are number one for me because books allow a change of something for them to look at. It's really good for language development. They're big essentials. And the great thing about books is that Goodwill, St. Vinnie's, and resale shops have very inexpensive baby books. And then an item that is kind of an essential, not really, having a little basket for some of your baby items is really great, or basket to show baby how to put things in and they like to dump it out. The idea of containing items is really, really important for development. This basket here was 50 cents at Goodwill and I feel like it's a great way to store some of her toys and it's a great way to show that containment. Now we have our bonus items. 
A placemat for your IKEA height chair is so nice because I literally fold it up and put it in the garbage or the garbage disposal. Plates with little dividers are really great. I found that it was really great to start introducing plates to her. It made it so that she was used to it versus it being sort of a new item and then you can kind of divide up the food and show them the different flavors so they can really taste each item all on its own. Teethers, pretty much anything can be a teether which is why this is a bonus item but I really liked having the silicone teethers were really really nice. A crinkle book. One of our most beloved toys was a dollar crinkle book from Walmart. We also really loved Love Every. This is definitely not an essential, nor is it something that everybody needs to have, but if you're looking for a recommendation of a service, Love Every is just awesome. Balls and noisemakers, little tiny ones that they can just hold in their hands and start to tap together or hold. They're so open-ended and they can last you forever. All right, the last stage is the six to 12 months stage. This is when your crib will probably be necessary for safety wise. Any crib should be safe, especially if you're following safe sleep. And now for feeding. Now this is where we get a little bit of extra new stuff. The open cup is awesome for that development. It's really great for speech because they're not messing with their palate too much. I really enjoyed having the one from Love Every, but literally like a shot glass kind of size cup will work just fine. It's going to be messy, it's going to get everywhere, but it is such good practice. And I've started using the cup pretty early on and now she can pretty easily grab the cup and drink without making too much of a mess. I would also highly recommend a straw cup. It's not as messy, but it also teaches them the ability to suck out of a straw. We got some silicone ones from Amazon. I'll link those down below. So one thing if you are in the summer that I really recommend is a spray bottle. So you basically have a clean spray bottle that has some cool water in it and I spray my arms, I spray the baby's legs. It makes me feel much better than babies just being hot in the stroller or being hot playing at the park. So now we have the play section, blocks. Blocks, of course, are amazing for gross motor skills, small motor skills. I don't think that there are any specific brand of blocks that you need, but anything that's big enough that won't get stuck in the baby's mouth. Going outside. I think that kids that are outside are just happier. Now, I definitely took Violet out a lot when she was very little. No matter what age she was, we went outside. That change of scenery, they start to get a little bit antsy, especially before they cry and as they get to that walking stage, getting that change of space is really, really good for your mental health and baby's mental health. Another play item that is not essential but so great to have is a play silk or play scarf. Anything that's really, really lightweight to play peekaboo with, to put on baby's head, to cover things up and hide them. It's a really great, simple, simple toy that'll last you forever. All right, so that is all of the essentials that you need from newborn to 12 months. I I really hope that this was as organized and in-depth as I could make it and I will definitely link my favorite items down below. But if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I want to know what your favorite baby item was because for me it definitely is my sound machine and I also really really love my stroller. But I really want to know what your guys' favorite baby items are. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys very soon.